Let's see if we've got this use case right. We've got a jobs table and every day you post the number of jobs you have. The next day you look at the previous value and you compare it against today's and you want to be able to track the percentage of change for any particular day as it goes up or goes down. We have one table and for each day you're putting the number of jobs. That's the requirement as I, I read it to be. So we what we need to do is to look at any particular date and figure out how are we going to get this previous day's date uh, value here so we can compare it against that and see what the percentage change is here. So the first thing we'll do is, is actually create this, this whatever that date is that floats. We want to know the previous day. So we're going to edit this. And what, we're, what we've got here is here we have the date and we want to um, switch it to a work date so we can say we can subtract a number from it. And uh, we're actually, first of all, this is a date, so we have to switch it to work date so that when we use this workday add and use a minus number, which is the day before, it gives us a value, but that's a work date. And I want to switch it back to a regular date a regular date field. So, so we've got this formula that figures that out. Now, how do we get the previous value? Well, we set a relationship where jobs has jobs. And when you're selecting the reference field, you can select what that this field is so that it will pull down a different date than the one that you are presently in, and which brings this previous value down. And then we can have a right click edit this field. We have a formula that takes a look at, I want to take the number of jobs and, and, and subtract the previous days and then subtract it by the total number of jobs to come up with the delta between the two. And of course, it's a percentage with zero decimal spaces here. So we've got that. Not sure if that's exact use case, but that's a, that's a possibility.